Hey CK friends, it's Kay from Closet Keepsakes. I am here with a quick Trinity Thrift video for you all today. Today is going to be a haul. We're back at our hauls. I've been trying to be on my mission of going to different new, new to me thrift stores. So I do have a few treats for you guys today. I did visit three different Goodwills. I will say some of them I've been to before, some of them new. And I also visited one or the thrift store in another city. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the other store. It's called Bridgetown. It was in San Diego, California. And um, I decided to just stop in and see what they had. Um, I've never been to a Bridgetown thrift store before. I do think they have multiple stores, especially in the San Diego area. So I thought, why not give one of them a try? So I went inside. They had like a full store with fashion items, furniture, all the things you would see in a thrift store, housewares and, and that sort. But I decided to only look at the fashion items in the women's section. My husband was waiting in the car, so I didn't want to keep him waiting too long. Now, I did look through everything. I will say that the pricing was a little higher than I expected going into the store. And I only ended up coming out with one thing. Now, I will give a disclaimer that I flew to San Diego, so I only had a carry-on bag, and I didn't want to have <laughs> And I couldn't fit a bunch of things into my luggage. But I also didn't find a bunch of things that I was like, I love this, I'm absolutely getting it, and I'm taking it back. And that's kind of the motto for this year, especially if I'm traveling to thrift. Um, so I'm going to show you the one item I did leave the store with. It is this, it was in the dress section, but I think it might be, could be worn as a top. And it has like a satin finish to it. Long sleeve. Um, it does have an invisible zipper on the side, of course. Now, the thing that drew this to me, or drew me to this was, of course, is blue. I also love the satin finish. I've been looking for tops more tops than anything that have kind of that fi um, finish on it. Um, now, when I saw this, I did not think of it as a dress. I was thinking of it as more like a, a top, like just like a really long like shirt dress type feel, um, mainly because of this split right here. You guys see? So I was thinking I could wear like some tattered skinny jeans underneath this. Um, and just kind of wear this as a top with some jewelry or something in this long, like, v-neck area or some long earrings or something like that and keep it pushing. But, y'all, this does not fit. <laughs> I didn't know. I was kind of unsure. There wasn't time or space to try it on before purchasing. And it just does not fit. So, I don't know. It might have to go, y'all. I don't know if I'll put it in my posh store or give it away or what. But I cannot fit this item. Um, I was a little sad because I do think it's super cute. But I had made up in my mind that I was going to take it back to Bridgetown because I do have like an exchange policy where you can get like store credit or return exchange, which is different for a lot of thrift stores. Ran out of time on my vacation, y'all. I had other things I needed to do, I was trying to do. So I did not get the opportunity to actually take that back. So I'm stuck with it, and I'm going to have to figure that out. Maybe I could get it altered. I don't know. Oh, we're going to move on to the next door. Okay, so right next door, I mean, literally a wall apart, was a Goodwill <laughs> from the Bridgetown Thrift. Now, my husband was like, it's the same store. Just go next door. And it wasn't. They actually had a whole wall separating them. It was a different store altogether. So... I did go next door to Goodwill as well. I mean, you might as well, right? Right there. So I only picked up a few things from that Goodwill, not because they did not have a good selection, but once again, I only had a carry-on bag and a backpack. So I had to try to squeeze as much as I could into those items as is. So I came out with a few items, three items to be exact. Um, I purchased a basic, or I consider it kind of a basic item. Um, and it's these black joggers, elastic waist with the drawstring, um, just basic black joggers. And they are like, they don't, they have not really like sweatpant material, but I don't 
don't know what this is, honestly. It's probably polyester. It has, like, flat pockets in the back. And pockets, they do have pockets in the front as well. And it's just a simple, basic item. But I thought I could style this in a lot of different ways. And I don't have a pair of black joggers. Like, I have a gray, gray pairs. I have olive green. I have tan. But I don't have black. So I definitely was like, I wanted to pick this up. And it was new with tags. It still has its original tags on there. It was only $5.99. Now, this Goodwill did not have a sale going on. Neither did Bridgestone. But um, I decided that it was a decent price for what it was and decided to pick it up. So a basic, but something I'll get a lot of wear out of in this season and moving into the spring season as well. Now, this one is probably a repeat in my closet. I was kind of thinking, can it be a replacement item? I don't know. I'm really going to have to take some time to look at things and see if it will be. But I decided to pick up this <laughs> jean shirt, another basic. Um, it's kind of a light wash, which I like, especially going into the spring season, but I feel like it might be a little bit oversized and that maybe I could wear it kind of like just a, a overlay over some a outfit or some clothes that I already have on, kind of like a jean jacket, but really, um, being more a part of the outfit. Um, what I really do like about this is a Levi shirt. It has like the little buttons on it like it does like on your jeans and I thought that was really cute and it's all the way throughout the shirt so I thought that made it a little different a little unique it does have pockets here in the front of the shirt and once again it's just another basic that I thought I could add to my closet or replace another item that's in there I have to see how that's going to work out now this particular item was let me see $7.99 $7.99 not too bad not great, but not too bad. Okay, so the last item I bought from Goodwill in San Diego is this crochet top. Now we know like the sheer crochet trend is in this spring. I thought this would be a good addition to add. Now I do feel like because of the coloring is something that I can definitely wear multiple seasons in the year definitely because of the crochet I could wear going into spring just depending on what I pair it with definitely if I'm bringing out the cream colors and the peach I could do a lot with it in the spring season but because of the colors I think I also can do something with it in the fall season as well definitely um, reaching towards the browns and the orange or salmon color at the bottom as well as the um, tan on the top so I was kind of excited about this I love crochet tops I have a couple in my closet some of them do not fit but I refuse to get rid of <laughs> I know it's a bad habit but I hope that I will get back in them one day I know that's terrible but um, I'm adding this one in maybe it will replace one that I already have I have to see how I feel about that now, this particular item was $5.99, so it was a decent price. Now, like I said, they had a lot of cute things in that store, that Goodwill, but I just couldn't pick everything up, y'all. So we're going to go to Goodwill number two. Now, Goodwill number two, y'all, this is my new favorite one. I told y'all, this is my new favorite. So I've been to this one before, I think two times. Um, one of my friends wanted to go thrifting, and I thought that this would be a good location to take her to. Um, and I found a few things. Now, once again, I'm still trying to be very particular about what I put in my closet. I'm also trying to be mindful of, you know, my fashion goals and things of that sort. So I didn't pick up a whole bunch of things from this store either, but I'll show you what I got. So, and, um, I will say I picked up quite a few basics in all these trips. So that's what you're going to be seeing. Some of the stuff is going to be replacing other things in my closet or just filling in gaps that I feel like I have in my closet. So the first thing is these black leggings. And you guys can see they have quite a bit of a shine on them. And I've been wanting to get a replacement pair of these for a while. I threw some out um, maybe late last year. And I thought this would be a good option to add to my closet. It's a basic that I could definitely pair with a lot of different things. A sweatshirt, a button up. Um, you could dress something up, dress something down. Of course, these are party pants as well. They do everything. Like, they're for everything. So, I thought I would definitely get these and I could wear them year round. Um, these um, particular pants were $5.99. Um, like
like I said, I haven't seen a Goodwill with a sale yet. If there is one out there, y'all please let me know so I can go visit it. Okay, so the next basic that I got from this same thrift store is this black knit vest. And it's just basic. It has the v-neck in the front. Very good condition. Pigmented still. Um, it also has like the little slits on the side. Um, and I just thought this is going to be a great layering piece. I know that the weather hopefully will be warming up soon. Right now it is still cold, so I think that I can definitely put some things underneath here and on top of here and be cute. And this is an item that I could keep in my closet for a while. It's a basic that's a keeper as long as it's in good condition. So definitely had to pick that up. Um, the price was $4.99, so it was a good price as well. Okay, so the next basic, y'all, yeah, that I picked up from this store is this just tan sweater. I love this. I know it's very basic. There's no bells or whistles on it, but I feel like this can be styled like a billion ways. Um, it is in really good condition, long sleeve. Um, it is an Amazon Essentials top or sweater. Um, I haven't purchased anything off of Amazon Essentials, so I was excited about it. The quality is pretty good. Um, this particular item was $5.99, and this is going to get a lot of wear. And I do feel like I could carry this into the spring because it is kind of a lightweight sweater. Um, it definitely can go without a layer when the, in the warmer month. Not in summertime. Not here where I live. <laughs> but definitely into spring. So I am looking forward to this one. Um, that's going to get warm right away. Okay, the last item I got from this Goodwill. I don't know if it's a basic, but I thought it was cute. It's definitely kind of out of season, though. It's going maybe more fall, winter. And I know it's winter, but we're getting to the end of it. Is this suede dress, y'all. And it's more like faux suede. It does have the zipper on the back. It's an exposed zipper. So we definitely are excited about that. And it does have some stretch to it. So that's even more exciting, y'all. But I just thought this was a really cute basic. I could wear it to church. I could wear it to work. I can layer it. I can definitely put a top underneath it. I could put a cardigan or a blazer on top of it. And I just thought it was really cute. And so I decided to pick it up. Um, this particular item was $6.99, and it was a great price. Like, it was such a good price that I had to really, like, look at it and inspect it and be like, it ain't torn, does the zipper work, all those type of things. And it's um, a Calvin Klein item, so I was excited about this. I don't know if I'll get to wear it this season. Hopefully, it will be right in the rotation going into fall next year. Okay, so we're going to move on to Goodwill number three. Now, I only picked up two items from this store. Once again, trying to be selective, trying to be mindful of what I'm bringing in and what I'm pushing out. So let me show y'all what I got. Um, the first item is this blouse. You guys see the color on this? It is gorgeous. It is a tie neck blouse, so it does tie here in the front. I love this accent. And this is the back. It's just simple. It buttons up the front. It is a Forever 21 top. It does have some sheerness to it as well. Um, I was excited. I think, of course, the color right away caught my eye. And I just thought it was really gorgeous. It reminds me of a top I actually have on my Pinterest board. So I feel like I'm going to wear this plenty. Now, because of the color, I can't wear it out. Because somebody's always going to know, like, you just wore that shirt, girl. But I definitely love this top. I could wear it with jeans, slacks, a skirt. I could layer it. Like, I'm ready to wear this, y'all. Um, and definitely perfect for spring. Maybe a cool summer night. I don't know about summer where I live, but definitely going into spring. And this is um, $5.99. So it was a decent deal as well. Okay. Last item, y'all. Last item. It is another basic. Y'all, I'm racking up on the basics, but I really feel like this year, that's something that I really needed to start replacing and upgrading in my closet. So I know it might not be like, whoa, that's yeah, that's hot. But it's definitely something that you have to check on because you want to keep your basics to always be ready and available for you to wear when you're ready to put your styles together. But I got these 
tan slacks. And they're kind of wide leg, which you guys know I love wide leg pants. I got this hanger on here looking crazy, y'all. Let me fix the hanger. But I think tan is a good color to definitely make sure you have a pair of slacks in because it goes with so much. Like you can wear this with so much. And this is definitely giving me spring vibes. Um, I could wear them to work. I could definitely wear these casual as well. I could put a t-shirt or a tank top with this in the summertime. They're not very heavy as far as the fabric. <clears throat> so they're definitely workable. Because a white leg, I could definitely layer it underneath in the cooler months if I want to. And they're in like excellent condition. Um, these particular pants, I think I wanted to see who they were made by. Oh, they're by Ann Taylor. And they were only $6.99. Great deal. So I was excited about this. Um, the pants section is something that I went to right away because I'm trying to upgrade some of the slacks and pants in my closet. And I really am looking for wide leg pants this year. I think that's kind of my vibe this year, or at least right now. So I was excited about these. So that is it, y'all. Only a few items from a few stores picked up and placed into my closet. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, thumbs up, share this video with a friend, check out my Instagram account, and I will see you guys on the next Trinity Thrift video. Bye, y'all.